Hi there, thanks for joining us while we take a look at the Jetball Flash cooking system. Uh, in fairness, it's been around for a good few years now, um, but um, as Lazda was one of the sort of original companies to retail this product within the UK, I thought it's sort of uh, worthwhile taking a look. Um, so what you've got is a, a self-contained cooking system, uh, one litre capacity. You've got a, uh, a drink-through um, lid, obviously detachable. A uh, cup at the bottom which helps protect the fluctuating technology which is where you get the sort of uh, ultra efficient heat transfer uh, and speedy heating times or cooking times you've got a pot stabilizer that's if you choose to use it for uh, cooking if you like or sort of more traditional camping type stove gas gam fits within it neatly it's a hundred ga uh, hundred gram gas the burner unit itself pot stabiliser or tripod uh, stabiliser and then the, uh, the main sort of cup so if I assemble this for you put the gas on the bottom so um, flip out the on off lever or switch just screw your gas in uh, the flash has got a piezo lighter um, there so if I turn it on there you go obviously not ideal to be cooking on the edge of a uh, a tent apron but uh, just for the sake of this demonstration I'll do that if I add some liquid to it you've got a, uh, a heat sensor on the front here so as we heat this liquid up that should change colour get the like the lugs on the bottom of the actual stove there it just looks locks in I'll turn that on full put the lid on I think it's approximately so sort of like about two minute um, boil time as I say this is like a, a pot stabilizer so this actually fits in the top of the, the burning unit pull out these little lugs or ears, whatever you want to call them. These things here sit on the rim of the burner and then you can put your sort of standard cooking pot on the top there. Uh, you can buy additional sort of um, jet ball companion cups, uh, a larger uh, frying pan and stoves and that I believe as well, or cook pots. Or as I say, you can just use sort of traditional things as well. So how we get on there. Bit of a steam coming up through the uh, spout already. Should start to go like an orangey colour as we reach the temperature. I can see a little bit from here. There we go, we're nearly bored, I think. What I like about it, you're probably not supposed to do it, but uh, the way it is, because of the sort of efficiency of the heat transfer, it all pretty much gets directed onto the, the actual pot. You can actually sort of hold the product pretty much yourself. So obviously if you're in a pretty, uh, well, what should we say, cold climate, cold climate um, you can kind of use it to, to warm your hand and stuff a little bit as well um, so there we go we've got a heat indicator there sounds like it's boiling to me so let's just turn it off yeah there you go you can hear it inside so that is it that is now boiled ready for your ration packs or um, hot chocolate coffee whatever you choose to do so for now detach that I'm going to pour away the liquid and then show you um, how to pack it back within itself. Um, probably shouldn't do this as well when it's hot, but just going back to this stabiliser, as I say, got those lugs out, I think, from earlier. So it just sits on top there. Uh, if you can imagine, just put it in your normal cookware on top or something. Um, that's that. So. 
fold that back up, unscrew the gas, flip the um, switch back on itself, take away the tripod, fold that up, so basically that goes in first. Burner unit obviously would really put it away when it's warm. Goes in there. Gas can goes on top. Pot stabilizer uh, flipped up on top of that. Nicely contained. Lid back on. So there you go. Ready to go for your next uh, next boil or cook up, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. That's the jet boil flash.